my name is Julia Trigo and I am the curriculum developer at CodeHS that wrote the Microbit course. So I wanted to just send you this video to go through some of those intricacies about using external sensors with the Microbit. Um, it is a little bit tricky, so I apologize for you having a, some trouble using the sonar, but hopefully this video will help you out. So let's take a look. So I have, um, I'm using a breadboard because it's just a little bit easier than using all of the clips, um, but that is totally fine. I was just doing lots of testing here. So I have my um, sonar connected correctly to my micro bit. So I have um, my cord right here is going to um, trig and that is on pin zero. Pin one is going to echo and then my um, ground is connected to the ground pin on my uh, sonar. And then I have um, this external battery. It's really important um, that you have this external battery. In, in all of my testing, I was not able to light LEDs on the, the micro bit using just um, the power from the computer. So I highly suggest using some sort of external battery. The most important piece is that the um, positive side of the external battery is only good connecting to your sonar. So we're just using this to ping out the sonar. The computer is what's being used to um, light our LED on our micro bit. So the um, positive side of the battery to the um, VCC port on our sonar and the negative side of the battery is going to um, ground as well. So you'll see here, I have two things that are going to ground. My ground on my micro bit and my ground on my battery. Once you have that, another thing that really, really um, can mess people up is the different ports on your computer. So I have two ports on my Mac and one port, um, the one that I'm not plugged into, if I plug in there, I'm only actually transferring data. I'm not getting power. So if I try to use this port to um, make my system work, it will not um, correctly give enough power to my system. I need to use this port, which is transferring the data, which is from my um, program, as well as giving power to my device. So um, I also have my, my program written up here. There's one thing that may be helpful when you're just doing some debugging um, is using this serial. So the serial is here. And you'll see it will read some distance values. Um, I think if I restart my programs, and again, you can restart just pressing that button on the bottom. And especially if I, I've noticed if I um, point it straight up, I read a pretty um, standard value. There will be some um, variation, and that is just always going to happen um, regardless of, of what you're having. So I have included this delay, um, this basic pause, after it's writing that distance value. Um, so hopefully some of these things um, will make it a little bit easier for you to get some data. Um, it def there definitely is going to be some variation and some inconsistencies in the numbers that are being read. So that's an important thing for you and your students to explore. Um, and you can change that, that unit. Um, try to see because the sonar also, it kind of sends out a pulse in a radius. So, um, different shaped objects it may not notice having i would say the best setup would be having your sonar right next to a wall and then just moving it um, back and forth closer and farther to the wall 